Hello guys. In this video I'm going to upgrade to Windows 10 on this uh, Dell Latitude E6420. You can still upgrade Windows 10 if you use uh, assistive uh, technologies like uh, pressing shift uh, activates auto, auto hold for shift. So yeah, you enter this link from the description in the browser, click on upgrade now. It downloads a little program. I like to let me just delete this. I like to put this little program uh, on the desktop. Although it is not needed, you can run it directly. Now I run it. Yes. Accept. It seems to be okay for the moment. And now it will uh, start downloading. This will take some time, so. I will come back uh, when it finishes. Finished downloading and it seems to be installing something now. And most likely it will ask me to reboot and if I'm not here to reboot it myself, it will reboot uh, by itself. The upgrade uh, seems to be finished. It will restart itself in half an hour, but I'm going to click on restart now. There's no point in waiting. Still working on the update. This again will probably take some time. But nothing to do then wait. Windows uh, finished installing. I'm gonna customize the settings the way I want and hopefully it will start in a moment. Windows uh, started up, but the resolution seems to be way off. So yeah, thanks for updating to Windows 10. Exit. Avira sees that uh, it needs to update because there's a new version of Windows. And... Uh, don't really like this resolution at all. I wonder if the drivers got messed up. You can see Windows is activated, so that's okay. But I have no idea what's with this resolution. Something seems to be off with the accelerometer. Meter, sorry. And yeah, no driver for the graphics card. Let's see if it can find one by itself. Although, yeah, it seems it finds one. So, hopefully the resolution will be fixed now. Driver installed. Accelerometer uh, seems to be fixed by itself. I didn't do anything and as you can see it just got fixed. It's still doing uh, things in the background. Okay. Again it appeared. And an unknown device. I'm going to let it reboot and see what it happens after that. I just uh, discovered the stupid things uh, thing in the BIOS of this laptop. It seems that whenever you change something you must click apply. Otherwise it doesn't get uh, changed and saved. Because I enabled Optimus technology so the dedicated graphics and the integrated graphics work uh, whenever needed uh, low power or high power but it was uh, unchecked so yeah I'm going to go through all the settings again just to make sure that uh, everything is okay so yeah this kind of sucks but what can you do After correcting, uh, after correcting the setting in the BIOS, disappeared. 
so I'm going to update uh, or upgrade the driver and hopefully Optimus will work normal now after both of uh, the graphic drivers are installed still having the issue with the, although you cannot see it with the accelerometer but uh, yeah that will be fixed next now I'm going to wait for this to get installed or install it myself if it doesn't do it correctly but it seems to be doing it I'm going to download this driver myself and install it for Windows 10 64 bit because uh, something seems to be wrong with the one already installed it uh, detected the graphics uh, cards so this is awesome no more problems there but uh, yeah something is not right here hopefully i will install this and it will be fixed but we will see that in a moment and another thing avira doesn't seem to be appearing here so i need to restart the laptop the new driver uh, failed to install so i have to uninstall the original one and delete check the box to delete the old driver restart and try again something uh, did not work The automatic install of the driver did not work, so I just extracted it and I'm going to navigate to where it is and hopefully it will install like this. Nope. So this driver seems to be creating a little bit of problem. My, weirdly it did extract but uh, as you can see clearly there is no information about the drivers there's just a setup which most likely will end up in the same error let me just show you quickly hopefully the error yep This is a stupid error, but what can we do? Let me try the install, but I don't think so. Nope. So I have to investigate more. In the end, found uh, a new version of that driver or another version of the driver this one add a link here uh, this is the version the exact one and it seems to be working it appears here with a different name but uh, yeah 100 percent working so yeah now let's uh, clean up things a little bit here don't need this anymore this installed by itself don't need it so everything is 100% working I will give it a quick restart and come back with uh, the final answer about Windows 10 on this laptop okay everything is running perfectly still doing things in the background as you can see it's turboing to 3 gigahertz but this will uh, end probably in half an hour, an hour. Always a new install does this for a little bit. All drivers are okay. Windows is activated, everything is okay. Avira appeared by itself. So yeah, 100% Windows 10 is a go on this laptop. So yeah. Thanks for watching, like this video if you like it, uh, check out my other videos, subscribe and see you again in the next one. Bye.